Ukraine to receive 120 to 140 tanks in first wave of deliveries, Minister. This post received a score of 5,700, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I am really curious about when they will start using the Bradleys. Think those will be a real help in blocking the new Rosin attacks. I still believe it comes down to how logistic and production fare on the battlefield rather than firepower and tactics. Sure these tanks would help however Russian logistic is still holding. Himmers made Kherson possible. Every time we roll out a new artillery system that increases the range of Ukrainian fire missions, Russia loses a whole mess of ammo and supply depots and is forced to push them even further back. We can't do much about Russia's ability to railroad in supplies from all over their country, even the far reaches in the east, but it's becoming increasingly hard for Russia to move shells from the unloading points to the front line. It's one of several reasons Russia's artillery usage has fallen off heavily. My worry is that Russia is using this as an opportunity to rework their critically worn barrels. Greater than I don't know if it was by design or not, but NATO slow walking artillery in stages to the Ukrainians has been devastating to Russian supplies. My pet theory is that as was a very deliberate escalation by stages for that exact purpose, culminating in retaking Kherson. Russia had the initiative, and the Allied counter move was frequently a winner. What I find really strange is that we are back to tanks and trenches. I remember chatting with my US mill roommates, and the Air Force dude would always brag AF get the most girls and army, marine, navy guys are just sitting ducks in a future war. And here are Ukraine and Russia reenacting WW 1.5. Both Ukraine and Russia have militaries with Soviet heritage, meaning that they're focused more on air defense than air offense. The end result is that neither side is able to deploy their air assets effectively due to large amounts of effective R. You could argue that drones have filled the gap but they are still in a somewhat developmental phase. Ukraine also doesn't have the advantage of having spent decades developing offensive air platforms and doctrines that can trivialize Soviet air defense. For a country Ukraine's size I don't think that would be possible, no? I don't think that either Russian or Ukrainian R would be considered trivial to any country other than the US. Yup, would take something like another Gulf War air campaign to disable it in short order with a massive SAAD effort. And that wasn't just the US either, that was US and allies. They even took out some installations with fucking battleships, we need them back honestly for the memes, IIRC. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.